Hi there, Phil again. So this tip is on growing fruit or flowering trees for that matter which have their branches at the perfect angle for flowering and fruiting. So if we look at this plum tree which is just flowering you can see that these branches here which are coming up from the horizontal at around about 30 degrees which is about this are flowering very strongly. So there are vertical ones which you can see back in there which are regrowing from some that I cut earlier they are growing more vertically they are not flowering vertical shoots tend to be very vigorous reaching for the sky and not prone to flowering or fruiting horizontal ones will fruit fine however they will produce a lot of vigorous shoots going up so this is the perfect angle here now you can see in behind me that there is an apple tree and the top is growing up into the sky very strongly and this is because apple trees have a strong need for apical dominance and so we have to allow for that when we're pruning them so vertical branches are oriented towards strong vegetative growth producing new shoots and foliage but lacking in flowers and fruit the stems produce growth regulators or hormones that promote vigorous growth while sending messages to the lower parts of the plant to suppress their vigor this process is called apical dominance referring to the primacy given to the highest tips of the tree if a tree has strong apical dominance as with apple and pear trees it should be accommodated in your training regime by encouraging at least one vertical leader which may be replaced over time if it grows too tall for easy management on this young apple tree with a strong center leader i could thin back this competing lateral to the point shown the branch remaining is likely to not try to compete with the main leader and will initiate flowers and fruit as the center leader grows taller it can be useful to prune it back to a weaker replacement leader to keep the tree to a reasonable height. Here I show an apple tree where the centre leader was removed, resulting in a mass of unproductive vertical shoots all competing to be the main leader. So this tree won't produce virtually any flowers or fruit. So in summary, if a tree has a high expectation of apical dominance, allow this while still ensuring that you get what you want, flowers and fruit, at a reasonable picking height. Stone fruit, such as peaches, nectarines and apricots, or for this matter the plum I have beside me here, have a lesser need for apical dominance, so don't need a centre leader, but suit a vase shape, as it's called, with multiple leaders, which can be replaced over time. Note this plum tree, where we have removed a lot of the tall vertical branches, but left sufficient to reduce the impetus to grow replacement verticals. We will gradually replace these taller branches over the years. Horizontal branches favour maximum flowering or fruiting, which is desirable. However, this relatively passive habit may not favour further vegetative extensions, the source of further future fruiting wood, and can encourage the production of undesirable and unproductive vertical shoots that we sometimes call water shoots, that attempt to re-establish apical dominance. While horizontal branches have advantages, a tree with only these branches will be unbalanced and will attempt to remedy this by stimulating strong vertical shoots which you need to remove on a regular basis. The spalliard system try to use the horizontal branch system and you do have to be very diligent about the pruning to prevent the apical dominance from taking over. Finally the 30 degree branch angle. Branches at a 30 degree angle from the horizontal tend to avoid the problems associated with purely horizontal branches. The orientation encourages modest vegetative growth without stimulating the growth of water shoots and still promoting maximum flowering and fruiting. On my plum tree, the more upright branches haven't flowered much in the past, while the 30 degree ones have. Furthermore, the tall branches will shade the lower ones, reducing their capacity to flower and fruit in future. Since I took this photo, I have removed those tall ones. You can see here how this one is initiating new vertical shoots. However, this regrowth is, will be modest on a plum tree. I can simply remove them at pruning time. Now, there are several techniques that we can use to ensure the 30 degree angle that is the most desirable. Mainly through pruning. You can strategically thin branches out, pruning out a strong vertical shoot to one with a more horizontal orientation. 
Some sources recommend heading vertical shoots, back pruning them to encourage buds to develop side shoots. This often doesn't work, the resulting shoots often return to a vertical form in a bid to achieve a new apical dominance. In general, I think at least 95% of cuts on trees should be thinning rather than heading cuts. Now, there are also ties that can be used. Young side branches that are too vertical, on a young tree generally, can be pulled down to the correct orientation. Use soft garden twine to tie the branch to a stake or heavy object on the ground, positioning at the desired angle. This needs to be done before the branch gets very old and too difficult to move. Regularly remove or retie the string to avoid ring barking the stem, keeping the knot fairly loose. The string can sometimes be tied to a lower branch or held down with a weight, such as a bottle of water. A spacer could also be used to push the lateral branch away from the main trunk. I've pruned hundreds and hundreds of fruit trees over the years, and I've found that this system works very well. On a stone fruit tree, and this would also go for other fruit trees such as uh, persimmons or avocados, we can keep the top part of the tree lower, remove the verticals and encourage this vase shape that you can see on this tree. This tree, which is a Louisa plum, flowers and fruits very, very well as you can see. And behind me, the apple tree that is there, I do have the centre leader which allows for the apical dominance. You can see that there are some lower vertical shoots on it. Eventually I'll cut the main leader back to one of those and that will replace it and keep the height within check. But 90% of the tree is actually a tier of fruiting arms, all with 30 degree branching angles. So I hope this makes sense to you and is useful. Put some comments below if you're interested. I answer the questions as they come online. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and share it with others. This is what helps my channel to grow. And of course, again, as always, thank you very much for watching this through to the end.